At no time this season did either issue negatively affect my responsibilities as White Sox manager. Now, however, it's become obvious that the length of the treatment and recovery process for the second issue makes it impossible to be the manager in 2023. Tony La Russa announcing today he is stepping down as White Sox manager due to health issues and will not return to the team in 2023. That announcement comes at the end of a disappointing season for Sox fans and weeks of absence for uh, La Russa due to health issues. And of a chance, Brona Tumulty on the south side where fans are reacting to the news. Hi, Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, things are getting a little bit busier here at Port and Kerry Pub ahead of the game with folks eager to see the Sox take on the Twins. But, of course, another topic of discussion tonight is Tony La Russa's retirement. Now, La Russa turns 78 tomorrow. He recently, a few months ago, stepped down from management duties uh, due to some heart problems with his doctors now, of course, recommending he not finish out his contract, of which there is about a year left. Now, anyone familiar with La Russa knows he managed the Sox back in the early 80s and got them as far as the playoffs in 83. He won a World Series with the Oakland A's back in 1989 and then two more with the St. Louis Cardinals in 2006 and 2011. Now, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2015. He came back to manage the Sox a couple of years ago and we've been chatting with folks here at the pub and they have some different opinions on La Russa and his role with the Sox overall. I would like to see someone unrelated to the organization, someone from the outside that's not Jerry Reinsdorf's best friend, um, someone, someone fresh to get things back on track. You know, he went to the playoffs last year. I, I mean, no one expected him to win it all, but they did. They had a good run, and this year obviously is a disappointment. But I think that's more on the players than him. The game obviously gets underway in about an hour or so. We're going to chat to a few more fans with a more fan reaction from you later tonight. We're live on the south side from the Tumulty, WGN News.